Okay, all right, I think I'm recording. Today I'm making something super simple and very, very cheap. It literally costs you only like maybe three or four bucks to make, if even. I'm making bubble pizza and it's really easy. All you need is a little cheapy can of tomato sauce. And we're going to start off with one can of these cheapy buttermilk biscuits. You can get them for 50 cents at Aldi. And you can get like one of these little cans of tomato sauce for like literally a quarter at Aldi. And I'm just making it with cheese. So I got shredded mozzarella cheese. You can get the brick cheese and just shred it yourself because the brick cheeses are cheaper. But at my grocery store, I couldn't find them. So, I just had to bite the bullet and buy, you know, that. And what you're going to want to do is preheat your oven according to the biscuit directions, which is 400 degrees. And you're going to take your biscuits. I'm starting off with one can. And I'm going to rip them into threes. And just kind of place them in there. Let me space them out a little bit. And thank you to the uh, 233 people who've subscribed to me. And I probably would have had one more, but my food was too ethnic-y. I had my first troll comment. It was pretty funny. Some guy named Nero Machiavelli. He made a comment that my food was too Mexican. He said 80% of it was. And I was like, uh, my first troll comment, I'm honored, but I think out of all the videos I've done, maybe about five or six of them could have been, you know, his, like classified as Mexican. And I just thought it was funny. I'm like, thanks for being my first troll comment. But then somebody else commented on it, and then he started retorting back with, some racist stuff and I'm like you know what I'm just gonna have to delete it because I don't want that on my channel I am a fucking cooking channel I'm not a vlog I'm not a political channel you know I do something benign like cook cheap food and if you have to take all your time and energy to try to take something benign and make it into negative because you're either unhappy with what's going on in your life or you feel that since you have the power of anonymity, it gives you some sort of power in your life on the internet where you're lacking in the real world, then there's something you need to work on because all I'm doing is just making food. But I have to pop this other biscuit because you see that it didn't uh, fill it up. So I'll be right back when I pop this anxiety-inducing nightmare tube. Okay, I'm back. These things are so anxiety inducing to pop, but keep tearing them into threes. And like I was saying, the other person who commented, I think it, it was in response to what my troll comment said. And it started turning to an argument back and forth and, you know, racist epitaphs. And I'm just like, I don't need that. Like... Can I just make pizza and ceviche and, you know, review weird crap I find in the dollar store in peace? Like, don't get it on your soapbox for why you hate the world. And, you know, and that's a sad thing. People hate the world. They hate other races. They hate other cultures. They hate other religions. And, you know, that's a sad fact of life, but I can't go through my life acting like I can change the mind of 7 million, billion people in the world, or I'm always going to be angry, you know, or just go through life being angry for things that are out of my control. So, you know, all you can do is hope that that person just finds whatever peace in their life to make it their life better so they don't feel the need to you know, find an open venue to spread their negativity. But, you know, I was going to keep the troll comment because originally it was kind of funny, but then it had to escalate when somebody else just started trying to, like, you know, 
argue with the other person. But whatever. Sorry, Nero Machiavelli, that you could not be my first official troll. And then what you want to do is I decided to season this. You don't have to season your tomato sauce, but I did. I just put a little bit of salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and garlic powder. I put it in my cute little uh, teacup. And then you're just going to spread it on. There you go. The handle makes it easy. You only need like one can. And this is really good for like when you're broke and you kind of like want a fun thing for like dinner. Oh, that just splattered everywhere. And because you can pull it. What is it with me and splashing shit today? But you can pull it apart, you know, and it does puff up. And it's a nice family dinner for when you don't have a lot of money. It's something to eat when it's like cold. That's cheap to make. And if you don't like the idea of canned biscuits, use your own biscuit recipe. It works just as well. You know, why not? I just don't feel like making biscuits. And then we're going to spread the cheese. And this is like low moisture yeah, mozzarella cheese. Though I prefer grating it myself because with shredded cheese, there's like anti-caking agent. But since, you know, Kelly and I broke up, I don't have car rides anymore to Aldi. So I have to settle for El Ranchito, which is up the street for me. But, you know, at least I have enough money to buy food and I'm going to be okay. It just sucks and it's an adjustment. I'm just going to dump that all in there. And I'm not going to eat this all by myself. I just don't know how to make it smaller. I used to make it for Kelly and he'd eat it all. I miss him, but what are you going to do? I'll just save it for later. I'll have it for lunch tomorrow, but no crying. I'm not missing anybody, you know? I'm going to be fine. Just suck sometimes, but, you know, I got school to focus on. You know, I got my family, my friends, and my family, they've always been the first people there for me. They drive me crazy sometimes, but, you know, my mom, my grandpa, all of them, have never, and my dad, have never hesitated to let me know that they were they're there for me. So, I still got love in my life. I got a roof over my head. I got a job. I got school. Just still rough, but... You know, sorry for that tangent. The last couple days have been hard. And the rain's not making it better. But see how pretty we have. And if you want to add other stuff like olives, jardinera, whatever. I'm just making plain cheese because I like cheese. So we are going to pop this in the oven at 400 for maybe about 20 minutes. And when it's cooked through, we will get back to it. Okay, and we're done. You can see it's all bubbly and cheesy. And I cut it up. I put one of the pieces upside down so you can see it. You can just, it's really hot, pull it apart and you can eat it. And it's light and fluffy. Turn it back around. As you can see, it tastes really good. It smells like pizza. It's still really hot. You can pull it apart. That's why you call it bubble pizza. And you can have it with salad. Or whatever other type of vegetable. You can make an easy, cheap family dinner. Or, you know, a lunch. Just something to do on a cold day. But that's it. And probably eat a few pieces and then save the rest of it for lunch. So you can make more meals out of it. But this is more for like a family meal. It tastes really good. You can add more stuff and make it your own. And it cost a few bucks to make. And that's pretty much it. I got a headache. So I have nothing much to say.
If you'd like to see more poorly put together videos of me making food of whatever ethnic origin I choose because it's my channel and I'm cooking the food that I like, like, subscribe, share, send me a suggestion if there's another culture you'd like me to try of, you know, inexpensive food from that you grew up with from your culture or home country. I am not, you know, closed off to that because I would like to try different things. And, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe. Shoot me a comment. And that's it. I'm Lisa with the Cheap Cooking Channel. Have a good day.